Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. Today I have a recipe for you. It is Portuguese. It is called bacalhau abrage, which is a codfish recipe. Bacalhau abrage technically just means bacalhau in the style of brage. Um, brage is the name of the person who created the recipe. So yeah, that's practically just a translation. Um, so yes, it's technically codfish in the style of brush in English. Just codfish with um, french fries mixed with some seasonings and it's pretty good. Um, so stay tuned for that recipe and I hope you like learning a little bit about my culture and I hope you try to make this at home because I think you will learn that you'll like it very much if you've never tried it before. Uh, this recipe, if you look up the original recipe, there is one ingredient that my recipe includes that the original recipe does not, which is the pimentum weeda. You guys see me cook a lot with that, but that is something that is an ingredient that is made here in the Azores. Um, I'll put a picture of what pimentum weeda is up right here. Um, it is technically just ground peppers, ground red bell peppers, not bell peppers, it's a different type of pepper. Um, that is grown here. Um, but yes, it's practically just red gra ground peppers uh, with lots of salt and it's just, it's a very good ingredient. It's very tasty and I make a lot of my food with it. So yeah, anyways, I am speaking way too much. Let's get into this recipe. So I've started off by soaking my codfish in water and I've changed the water two times and I've let it soak um, just for a couple of hours. Uh, it's not that important to do it overnight but if you can it's actually better. If you don't let it soak for that long just make sure you boil it in different uh, batches of water to get all of the salt out because Typically when you buy codfish, it is salted uh, to preserve the fish and you just want to take all of that salt off the fish and make sure it's not salty when you're going to eat it. So I soaked it, I had changed the water two times and now I put it in the pot. I'll be boiling it twice as well, which means I'll boil it in one water. And once it boils, I will be changing it out for a new set of water and let it come to a boil again until it's cooked. If you buy codfish that isn't salted, then you can skip this step and just boil it once and you don't have to let it soak. While your codfish is cooking, you can go ahead and fry up your french fries. I'm just using my air fryer. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Throw it away. So, once the codfish is actually cooked, in order not to um, dirty another dish, I just use the lid of the pots to drain it. And then I will be actually running this through cold water just to cool it down quicker so I'm able to shred the fish because I'm going to need it real soon and I will be shredding it with my fingers See if you let go of me when you're not holding me I can see it now hey, when I lose, but if I'm gonna lose so it's not very complicated at all. You will have to get your hands messy. You just grab a bowl and grab the fish and the way I shred it is just rubbing it in between my fingers. It's the easiest way. Um, I like to have it as shredded as possible um, so it can get well distributed through the fish. There are people who like to leave it in big chunks. I prefer not to. Now you could shred this other ways but I do like to do it with my fingers just in case there's a bone in there because sometimes you'll find a fish bone in between like the fish and it's not pleasant to eat it or to 
find it in your mouth. So I try and fish out any fish bones um, while I'm shredding the fish to avoid having it in your plate or go to your mouth. Once you are done shredding your fish, keep that to the side because you will be needing it in a couple of minutes. And now you are going to uh, dice your onions and mince your garlic. Now you can either dice it or slice it. I like to sometimes keep it in rings. Other times I like to dice it. It just depends on what I I'm feeling that day. It really depends on what you prefer for texture. I know some people will mince the onion because kids are uh, picky and if the onion is minced it's harder to notice but I do really like the texture of the onion so sometimes I keep it in rings and here I am peeling my garlic. I like to add a bunch of garlic to this. I just let my heart decide how much garlic I need and on this particular day, I used four cloves of garlic, and I'm mincing it as uh, small as possible. Uh, with the garlic, I do prefer not to have big chunks of garlic, just because the taste is so strong if you get like a big chunk of garlic in your mouth. So yeah, I'm mincing that as small as possible. Next, I will be peeling my carrots. Carrots is an optional... Um, ingredient. I actually don't think it is included in the original recipe, but I do like to include it in mine. I think it adds a very nice taste to the recipe. And I will be shredding the carrot. I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time. Lost in The next ingredient I will be adding is a, a little bit of bell pepper. I don't use the actual whole bell pepper. I'm not sure. I think I used at least half of it. But then I will be dicing it into small pieces. Um, I don't like too, too much uh, bell pepper in this. But I do feel like it's necessary to be in the recipe. For me it is part of it and I think it makes a difference although I don't like to overpower it. I'm like oh shit I've been doing this a long time lost in Alright, so you know the drill. Saute your onion, garlic, pepper, and carrots in your pot. I actually did this all at the same time. Uh, it doesn't really matter the cooking time. Uh, they're going to cook practically all together at the same time, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just make sure your garlic doesn't burn. You have to stay by close to the stove. No, I can't rewind the time. Promise I'll put down my pride. Don't look back because I mean it when I say it. Once my onion was cooked, I decided to add in some parsley, so I added in maybe a tablespoon and a half. I do not like to exaggerate on the parsley because it can overpower the dish if you put too much in it. Um, then I add in my codfish, the shredded codfish, and I mix it all together.
added in some white pepper and then I mix it together again, let it saute for a little bit, and while that is sauteing, I am preparing the eggs. I just cracked four eggs into a bowl and I'm scrambling them, and I will be adding in uh, a little bit of salt to these eggs, but not too much. After that, right before I add in the eggs, I add in some white wine and a little bit of pimenta moida, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, just to flavor this recipe up a little bit. And then right after, I will be pushing all the codfish to the side of the pan, and then I'll add in my eggs. This is totally optional. You can just add in the eggs directly to the codfish. But I do like to have the scrambled egg defect, so that is why I do this. I like to cook the eggs on the side to make it feel like scrambled eggs inside of the, the dish. My mom doesn't do it this way. She actually mixes it with the eggs and then you won't notice the eggs as much as if you do it, like as if you were to do it this way. Once your eggs are practically cooked, just mix them in with the codfish mixture and right after that I will be adding in some olives. This part is optional. If you do not like olives, do not add in olives like every other ingredient in this recipe. If you don't like something, don't add it in. Always make this the way you would prefer to eat it. So there I go adding in the sliced green olives and then right after that I will be adding in my french fries together. And then, this is optional, you can just add in a drizzle more of olive oil and vinegar. I love vinegar, so that's why I add in the vinegar, but not a lot of people actually add in the vinegar. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And that is it. There's not much more to it. It is ready to be eaten. And I really recommend you guys try this recipe because it is very delicious. Anyway, we are at the end of the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you thought of this recipe in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to try it out. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like these types of videos. Subscribe so you don't miss future content. And I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye! Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go